Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm Baxter Bell. I have three quick requests for you and then we'll get right into our video practice for today. Number one, please check out my website, baxterbell.com, where you can find access to my online yoga classes. You can find opportunities to dive deeper into your yoga learning and you can find more free content. Number two, please reach out to me personally at Baxter at BaxterBell.com if you'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one session to improve your overall yoga practice or if you'd like to address any health issues that you have with yoga therapy. Number three, if you enjoy this video and you find it helpful, please like it when you're done. That would be really helpful. So that's it. Let's uh, take a look at what our practice for today is. I am very excited to share with you today a modified version of Utkatasana or Powerful Pose. This is the version that I teach a lot these days in my Yoga for Back Health class. Um, and it's a nice one because you get still some of the great strengthening in the legs that one gets in a Powerful Pose, sometimes called Chair Pose, but I prefer Powerful Pose. Um, and you also... Um, kind of reduce the risk of overtaxing the lower back. So you're still kind of creating some nice strength in the spine without kind of leaning out into space, which really loads that area a little bit more. So it's a nice stepping stone if you're feeling weak or your lower back feels vulnerable and you'd like to move towards regular uh, Utkatasana or powerful pose, this is a great little variation to use, or you may find that you just prefer this variation in general. We might get a visit from Mingus the cat today. How exciting would that be? So all you're gonna need is a, a space to practice. You don't necessarily need a, a yoga mat, but um, I would like you to have your feet about hip distance apart. I'm gonna turn and give you a little bit of a, a, a mild side angle view of this so you can get a sense of what's going on. And before I go into the version we're gonna be focusing on today, I'll just show you very quickly the version that's often taught. And you can do this dynamically or statically. I'm gonna show it to you statically so you can get a sense of what's typically done. Typically the knees bend forward, the hips go back and tip, and the arms come up alongside the head. So there's a lot of weight out in space that the spine has to hold up. So that's Utkatasana or powerful pose, and some people take it even lower or deeper than I just showed you there. So for this variation, the first thing that's gonna be different is the arm position is gonna be straight out in front of us. I like to imagine that I'm holding a box and I actually, instead of drawing the arms back, I like to slide the arms out a little bit. So I do create a little bit of challenge for the spine, but not an excessive amount. Secondly, I'm gonna keep my spine vertical as I bend my knees forward. So I'm not tipping forward at all. I'm simply maintaining the natural curve in my back as I bend my knees forward. And really my ankles are the joint that stops me from going down any further. If I went down further without leaning forward, my heels would lift off the ground. So we wanna keep the heels grounded. So let's go ahead and with that information, that kind of groundwork, let's go ahead and make this into a dynamic sequence uh, that is the dynamic Utkatasana, dynamic powerful pose for back health. So here we go. Inhale the arms out in front and reach a little forward without tipping forward. Exhale, bend the knees forward until the ankles say stop. And then inhale, straighten the legs and exhale the arms back down by your sides. Inhale the arms out in front Exhale, bend your knees forward. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, the arms down. So we're not leaning back, we're not tipping forward. We're simply bending the knees forward and taking the hips straight down on the exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, the arms down. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, exhale, in breath, out breath. See if you've got that breath pattern. Do it a couple times. Don't forget the reach of the arms. They slide a little bit out so the shoulder blades widen on the back of the body. Let's do one more for good measure. Beautiful. And of course, having finished that, you can always give the arms a little shake, roll the shoulders a little bit, give the legs a little shake. And of course, if you kind of use that as a warm up, you could then hold that pose statically for a while to get a different kind of effect in the body. Today, I wanted to just focus on that dynamic version of the Yoga for Back Health version of dynamic, powerful pose. So play around with that in your home practice. And you know what's even better than these short videos? Come join me for a full live streaming class sometime soon. My schedule you can find by clicking on um, the, the link that's right here on the screen or at least going to that website. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and YouTube at Baxter Bell Yoga. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please like it after you've finished watching. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.